again, if there's a judge on the other side of it, it again, respect the boom, but fine. We'll have to have a wait and see. Already called him into taking a boatload of contact over towards Longer to dip through on the TP. Did his teammate join him? Yes. Yes. Have over decided best choice as well. So going to switch away from this. That will give up most of the site now. Again, Liquid can probably pick the pace up. They now know that both players did hit those rotations. However, Nookie and that, you know, they're not, they're no slouches in this either. They've, they've picked up the pace and got themselves towards back of the kind of elbow side. There's a TP audible now found. EMP. Well and truly aware, oh, going to relay that information. Spike is planted, but there's a Vova finding Screamer now. Taking away some of that back line that could have come out to play. Nuki isolating Link. This is great from G2. This is a much better look for them. As he's just Nevera and Yampi. And Yampi, while well, his position, he's not being quiet. The shot's good, but the follow-up, so many bodies on the side for G2 there. And that was brilliantly played from G2. It actually was, considering how badly that went with both players having to TP away. Actually, the fact that... Probably, if anything, a, a confirmation of... We're still doing all right. Don't worry. We're still good, boys. We got this. Francis stands though. Little exchange of utility at the start. And um, weird TP. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's a bit. Uh, talk to me logically about what just happened, because I can't. I don't really want to. Um, <laughs> Try. They, I guess, wanted to convert this presence noted on the back of the trailblazer. Link at seat. <laughs> Use the. Smoke to slip away with, not even sure if you found that. Solka oh somehow walks all the way through B site and we'll find Mixwell in spawn and just like that, it's down to Nookie. What? And around the, I, I guess they wanted to be decisive and it comes back to that setting the precedent early on in these rounds. And again, you can look back to the ascent and think what did you two achieve from the early rounds? It wasn't an awful lot. Maybe this is just a, right, guys, a step off on a strong Spice foot. Planted. Almost force Liquid into a more passive play style early on here, but it's it's not paid off. It's not gone particularly well for them. Let's see here if Nookie can even do some damage. I mean, the saving grace being, I don't think, I mean, an awful lot of upgrades here as Soulcast will actually fall, so there's still a chance for Nookie to make this interesting. <laughs> he actually tries to double satchel across, but between the right position to to just greet the other side as Soulcast taps the orb and it, it baits out so much the Trailblazer used up the, the Showstopper as well. Look at the amount of utility they've invested already from G2 side. Liquid have shown presence, which is exactly what you want to be doing. And now there's much less to deal with on the hit now coming in, but let's see how this works out. Liquid theoretically doing things right, but there's still pressure aplenty. Nuki being part of that. Mixwell, good timing on the swing. The shot's uh, rough, but luckily he's not alone. He has Nuki, he has Kellogg's, he's got everyone by his side. And theoretically, yes, it's not bad for Liquid, but G2 hard to garner this info, even the dog. How much does it get? Oh, okay, it's found destroyed. the fact that there's a player on long. Follow-up flash being considered by Kellogg's, but not committed just yet, and timing could have been different by a second or two there. Yampi could have found a whole lot more, but he doesn't. Kornometa on site. And there's the peak. Yampi gets Kellogg's on a bit of a... I mean, you could have opted for the flash first. He could have just sent that around if he fancied, draw that information off the back of knowing a player was there, but opts for the peak instead. Aldrone comes out, clears up relatively far towards site. Doesn't get much beyond that, though. Avova and Coldamenta not fully noted just yet, but I'm sure they'll be considered. And there comes the ult coming flying through for Soulcast. Let's see how this looks. Checks close. Does he find the player? He's still not seen him. Coldamenta getting away with murder. And there's Avova waiting patiently. And they held so long. They held their nerve until literally Liquid were in the trap. Link with a lovely peek what? the perfect follow-up. Now Spike's in the hand and now a 1v1, but it's Nookie who's been god tier. Cuts Spike noise and planted. walks up now. Link towards sight and now timing's everything. He's got good information here, Nookie, but he's been spotted and Link, he can't adjust well enough. And Nookie, clutch you now considering, hey, do we want that up? But again, that was made even just close to possible by Link being fantastic. But also Nookie, safe pair of hands. Yeah. He's going to respect it for, but... Oh my oh, God. Oh, scream. If he's been working on his jet, man, I'm, a, I'm up for the idea for it. But Solkas, he can hold this. That's a super strong position, even if he... Doesn't have to crest around. He's heard yeah. the audio cue. He knows that there's going to be someone just around that corner. He can stay posted up on this. Flash goes deeper, so he's still just fine. They can get a spike plant here, and now this retake is going to be basically denying this area. Now, I'm going to have to respect that just a touch. Falls away. Yampi going to confirm the prior information, but will lose his life for it. Yeah, well, I see the Cosmic Divide going to go up. Kellogg's will tap it ahead of it, but actually, I think his barrel was just spotted he's on the other side there. Oh, what? Oh, scream! How has you found Kellogg's like that? And now Link, we said before, safe pair of hands, but this one's a tall task. A classic, and that's it.
in a 1v2. Timing's everything. And he's got safety behind the wall. And Link, now what do you do with it? Oh, he's got the upgrade. Ooh, that was close. Mixed well. Good work. Previous round was pretty much all in, but equipment definitely a consideration to make. And let's see Nuki that opens up with the operator here. We'll find Solkas towards Fountain. You see, actually, Mixwell as well has in invested the Viper's Pit on short. So give G2 a little, I guess, I guess leverage in terms of map control. And they can still keep a third member committed towards B side. As I say that, actually, Kellogg's considering rotating. Going to be clearing through the ult as best he can right now. No one obviously actively in it as we stand. Nice little glimpse, nothing. Yes. The fact that there's nothing is information in itself, but they can re-aggress, they can reassert a little bit of that presence, which they've done. So Mixwell's right going to slot there. back in. And again, Ornamenta just in the corner here. Waiting it out. And there's Levera on the other side. Welcome to Ooh. My world. Ooh. It's going to get weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what, how do they... I, you can ferry the spike through, I guess, but beyond that, this this to me is just, just again, so curious in that regard. I mean, Mixwell's still just fine. He's got a green wall to play up against. It ain't optic, but it'll do. Already, Mixwell and Cordom in combination have, have taken away basically the front lines of this. You've got 10 seconds now, no spike plant. Liquid are finding a couple of kills here, but this is just such a weird round. There's the spike denied. Plant's now going to be removed away from the equation as Nevera, the last one alive, and a 1v3 with that much time never going to happen. I think even then for Nookie, he can play much deeper. Nookie can kind of play this how he wants. He, he showed presence towards you know, Heaven last time. He was kind of hanging out that way. This is a bit of an adjustment here. I quite like that, keeping things relatively versatile, kind of switching things up when required and, and staying hard to pin down, right? Like, oh, yes, okay, we've yeah. got to keep this in mind. Well, he's somewhere else now. He's a new angle, new way to play. They seem to have a decent concept as to where actually Liquid are going to be residing already mixed well. Bit of a switch up and a bit of a ping out as uh, he can hop himself up. The, you want to fight it. the divide comes in, so that's going to make things harder, at least for Nuki. Yampi, did he see? He knows that Mix was there to an, enough of an extent, but now Nuki going to try and bail him out. Just going to post it, hope for it. Doesn't quite get it, but Mixwell does. It is a trade out, though, so the 4v4, but the site is under liquid control. 30 Kellogg's seconds left. Scream actually finds himself a pocket on top. Actually, Kellogg's does finally get the kill. And nothing with the flash on the other side, but does find the Vera as well. Comes down to a 4v2 now. Scream on 14 One HP. Quickly traded out. Link called upon once again. Good for the first. Nookie's the next line up here. And it's an operator, but he wins out. Link will fall. The timeout came in. Not much really came from it. Now the presence on long has generally going G2's way. That's a game changer. What? Unleash Scream. That's how you do it, apparently. If everything goes wrong, just let Scream off the chain and let him go. Avova's still up towards Hookah, though, so there isn't just free access here, but the utility's in the way for now. So as it stands, Avova, how much can you get done? Still being noticed as well. So I guess that's actually fine. Avova's well. Scream good for the third. Mixwell, the last man standing here, and just becomes a question of damage, and there's not going to be any for him. A flow game outside hooker, not overextending too much. I think that's ultimately to control that TP rotate. Only really coming through and pinching here at the same time as contact comes along. Kellogg's actually gets tagged, and he will be closed out, actually. Yampi with the Hunter's Fury on point. Yeah, and Scream's taking the space. You can see Solcast trying to clear back site. At least confirmation that no one's in that corner, but they still have to double check. Scream's going to do just that. Sight's clear. Right, game on. Get that spike over here while the smokes are still in place. Divide goes in. And now the lines get drawn on the battlefield. They know where that old's coming from, where it's going to be. And now Scream's going to push what? forward. The man spike is feeling it. Finds called a mentor, but he needs more here. This 3v3. How long can it last? Mix one on the other side. He's got a judge, man. This could be left. just absolutely taking the air out of Scream's lungs. Nookie in the playback in, but that wall's a problem. Just going to walk on through, try and maintain composure of over. Starts to build as well. Now look at the site. Starting to look a little bit more isolated, a little bit more manageable. Finds the one on long. No trade available because they're in such fruity spots. Look at Scream right here. Oh, Mixwell! The jump peak on the corner! And Nookie finishes it off. Those post plant positions from Liquid were very questionable, and G2 will lap that up. And actually, just off screen, Avova somehow found two kills, just swinging out from elbow, I guess just ahead of Liquid being able to set up behind that Viper's Pit being popped. But 
a little preemptive again. Almost took what felt like five minutes for the spike to filter through to even get planted in yeah. the first place. Considering, you know, initially, as soon as the showstopper gets popped, you know that everybody's going to back away. They have to respect that, right? At bare minimum, when Scream gets to backside, there was still time between that. I, I'm a little worried about the, the delay on the, the kind of approach from that side. Maybe just overcautious. It, yep. it, it seemed a little slow to react. Um, maybe conscious of a stack behind that. I'm not entirely sure. But nonetheless, G2 will close out 8-4 and much more convincing this time around, actually considering their defensive half on ascent at least. Have to see what Liquid can get done. G2 will spread pretty thin. 4-1 split. Okay, got there on the end. Now, Avova, I think, only heard two shots in response, so not necessarily fully telling, but now he's going to spot three now and relay that information. This should be the catalyst, or at least the go signal here for Mixwell to push on. You can see he's trying to close the distance on Nevera here. Oh. Actually, we'll find it. The amount of just precise utility work coming out then from so many of G2. Now, Liquid are down to three and out of traditional spots. Links in literally no man's land. G2 should be able to get really nice post plants as well if they can kind of secure short as well, which they're doing right here. So feeling a lot comfier now, a little bit more free to kind of, you know, settle into this post plant as Soulcast does begin his journey back in. Nookie would be the one to give him the first challenge once he crests this corner. Checked on. Nice work from Soulcast. They need another and they get another. Yampy with the jump. And now maybe there's a chance in this one, but a double star. What? what? Excuse me, no way, Link! He finds two and have over just cornered, and you are gonna be in pieces after that pistol. It's beautifully played on the way back in there. <laughs> and again, you come back to that concept of setting the tone. Expected here, screams on route after hearing that, and exploratory work from Soulcast. So interesting. That's gonna pull back Scream, but the hit is still coming towards A, so it's gonna be Vera on the other side, but another an adjustment coming out off the back of maybe Mixwell's positioning here, but there's still three players on this site. This is interesting as well, because, I mean, it's potential for Mixwell to relay the information. You know, there's no longer a judge in hooker, so maybe indicative of a rotation, but actually does get hard cleared, but Mixwell still loses that. A lot of damage done again from Link with this. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, it's <laughs> go on. Oh, dearie me. You're feeling silly if you're G2, Link. He may not sequence that went down. Oh, 30 seconds left. Oh, Scream's got an AWP. Scream. Oh, it's working. He went to do the CS spray. What's going on? <laughs> Of course he did. I think actually, you know, I think that's still the the muscle memory. Thinking Can't he has a third it. smoke. Can't stop. Planted. Just has to you go for it. it. Is it Cosmic Divide going to be invested here? G2 want to make absolutely sure there's Ooh. no risk of losing this, but Yampy will find Nuki. Avova does respond though, so it comes to the two v two. Actually, a lot of spam coming through. Actually, Kelk's down to 18 HP, but still finds the kill with the operator there. <laughs> the console. As the seekers get popped from showers, not an awful lot of information found off that scream. Actually, re peaks and we'll find Nookie. The Hunter's okay. Fury from Yampy from the back lines. Cold Amenta will fall. The Kellogg somehow slipped the net. Yeah, I don't know how he's got there. I don't think Scream knew either, and, and now just a very cool in, in a just like impossible that. position. And there's the reply instantly. They find two. Again, Soulcast. One off the showstopper. If he does find a kill here, expecting to pop that almost instantly to double down. As Liquid now find themselves in a 3v3. Cosmic divide of their own to use. They want to get that done. Potentially, actually, that nade. Tried to follow up on the gravity well, but no damage done. Now. MP has found Kellogg's timing's gonna be a real factor on this one. Soulcast didn't get it to halfway <gasps> either. And now, what are they gonna do with this? Mixwell's right there. He's gonna find another. Can they deny this one? They absolutely can. I Welcome to Actually, G2 get close enough to pop the Viper Spear, at least to give them some control of default. Soulcast will respond with his own showstopper, but Nookie's still ready to post his. And actually will find Scream completely blind. Uh, this is just 
they're so deep on the site. They have so much control. Yes, Nevera is taking shower control, but um, that was a bit left. weird from Mixwell, if anything. Nice work from Nevera. I guess you take what you're given, but Spike now down 3v3. Retake time with the judge in mind. That's still going to be tricky to bring to bear, considering Link can't exactly close the gap like Bunny could, for example. He's He's got to just... You know, trot along. So, ahead. let's see how he does in this post plant. It looks like a bit of a switcheroo, doesn't it? One towards heaven, one sitting towards a cubby of sight, one towards lamps. And there it is, Nevera's found Kellogg's. That's good, that's a player towards heaven now, removing. Actually, it's just down in Nookie, and his ult was the one that kicked things off, really, finding Scream almost blind, and there's the first to fall in the post plant as well. So now Nookie gonna find Nevera, but he needs to deny this defuse, and he's not quite on it yet, and Yappie moving, a flying no player! Way. But Nookie's spray control is always gonna be on point. <laughs> Nookie. Ah, the buy is so shoddy. The two rifles, one on Nevera and one on Yampi, but that's about all she wrote for it. I mean, Scream, headshot's a headshot, but he's not getting given the first. Yampi did try and swing off the back of that contact. He did get Kellogg's, but an instantaneous trade for Evova, so the site's pretty much theirs. And Mixwell's position is nasty as well. He can be just a late-game thorn in the side, quite literally. Yes, they can clear it, but look at the time they're going to buy on this post plant now. Here come the issues. I think, again, we'll have to find a way to somehow Get so much closer. Mixwell is right behind them. This is going to be the freest kill of his life. That's one. Sits back real deep. He knows that it's linked there. He's like, I ain't getting close yeah, to that yeah. smoke. No way. And now Nevera in... in going up. Not a fun scenario, is it? Do know that of course Link is there. It's it's par for the course now. You kind of know what you're up against. So it does look like that lean back towards A, but aggression from Scream. First time we've really seen that through yeah. short. Haven't really seen them get too proactive in these sort of plays, and yeah, it pays off. And then some Cordament is now gone. That's one alt removed. That's pretty big. And Vova's still got his if needed. And now they look for that next step towards A. Look, he's staying curious. The rest of G2 as well, actually. They want to force their way through. Look, he does walk. He gets very close here, and that's the Aldo, and I don't think he's going to spot him here. He's got himself into a deadly position and finds Scream. Okay, Scream's down, down, 4v4. Nevera's still close. He's going to be behind enemy lines. He doesn't get one for all that trouble, but it is a man advantage for Liquid here, and there's only 15 seconds of Spike being ferried towards the side now, so Spike Plant should be coming in as soon as they feel as though they have maybe a second or two for it. And here it is. And it ain't much, and here's the ghost signal for Team Liquid up and over we go. Soul Cask gonna offer himself up for the trade because they have the players with the advantage so they can get the defuse. Finally getting one back on the board. And I mean, I like the first look from Scream then, actually getting a little proactive on the push up. Zero with G2 kind of slowing the pace really in the last few rounds. That's what that's the response you want to see. Again, difficult to really repeat that over a couple of rounds, especially if G2 continue. Much for that. Look down, and they're actually peeling away here. So a little bit of presence shown, and they fall off this back towards the A site. I've got your trail. And the Seeker's coming through as well. This could be Scream. Nevera holding towards the A site. A little deeper this time. No one pushes up a little bit more aggressively. The Seeker's still going to be leading the way in. Yampi going to send this one right on back do with a tag or two off the back of it. Doesn't get as much as maybe I'm sure he would have wanted, but Scream, looking like he's in no man's land here, trying to find some sort of comfort in this. It's not going to be easy. One through, shower coming in, try to find the timing in between the two, but didn't quite get it. Nevera now going to be forced out of position or forced to fight. Oh, I don't know, burn alive. Just melt yourself down. Now you've got three players pre-firing, pre-aiming, and just locking this one down. It looks like G2 might have this sewn up. Enemy down. Potential or just that here. I see Colomento and Mixwell playing pretty close mm. contact here, but seemingly unnoted. Liquid will pause for thought. That's his gravity well, will catch Colomento. Actually, the clear comes through, screaming Yampi, both fine kills. That's incredibly impressive, and Link oh. even chiming in one of his own, and Nevova left with the Spectre. He's still going, though. He gets the upgrade. No He's defending this with everything. No way, He's got Nevova. Nevova. There it is, the clutch man himself used to see it on my...